All right. What's going on, dudes? Dudettes? How are you? Caveman back here again with another one from Ronald Radke. Um, I looked at Ronald first. I had mentioned I was at work. I had YouTube on. I was listening to Jordan Peterson or something like that. And then all of a sudden, Autoplay kicks on an interview by Rockfeed, who I never had seen anything from that channel before. And he was interviewing Ronald Radke. So uh, I was like, dude, this guy's pretty based. I listened to a whole hour and 30 minute long video and I thought I need to react to his music. And I checked out Ronald first. I was blown away from like second one. I was hit with some of the most powerful fast music I've ever heard in my life. I'm not a heavy metal guy back in the day. Um, I've just sort of got into that with some Slipknot and looking at a couple other bands. So this was the heaviest hitting song I'd heard so far. And then in the comments, people were telling me that Ronald's a genre of his own. <laughs> right? What? What? Really? Slow, rap. I, I like it all. Um, heavy metal would probably be, the heavier music would probably be the last genre I would go to. However, I'm getting really into it. So I figured I'd check out another one. And so I have pulled up here, falling in reverse, watching the world burn. It's 2024. Why not? Are we not watching that already? Let's angle this mic. Are we not seeing that already in the world? Anyway, let's put these cans on and do this and make sure it's up really loud. Boom. I got voices in my head again, tread carefully, and I don't medicate, it helps me temporarily. I got problems, I got issues, yeah, apparently, trauma that I'm burying, I think I need some therapy. I battle depression, I'm back with a message, I'm asking the question that if you hate me, why you acting obsessive? I'm past a point and no return by being passive, aggressive, I'm brandish a weapon, teach all you motherfuckers a lesson. Yeah. So I actually battle my demons and tell us if yeah. deep in the deep in the shallows and lost. Gotta admit that I'm living the life that I've always wanted. All right, this is this is awesome. This is fully Ronnie Radke, isn't it? But in the comments, a lot of you let me know that his name is a genre in itself, that you never know what you're going to get, that he literally hits all spectrums of vibe <laughs> there. So <clears throat> I look forward to hearing the different varieties of music. And obviously, we got rap happening in this one, and I'm digging it. I, I like how he's diving headfirst out of this plane as it blows up, like he's leaving the drama and nonsense bullshit behind him. He's charging out head first. He's not even feeling like he needs to, to block his face. He's like a bullet. He's just, he's just, he's just charging. And, uh, you know, I feel like from the interview I heard, that's kind of the way he lives his life. You know, Hey, you know what? I'm going to be me. I don't care what anybody else thinks about it. And you can make a post on Twitter or X if you want. And, uh, who cares? You know, I, I dig that about this guy. I think that's a reason to get behind him and his music. When it comes to the cause, yeah. they're making a job for fixing and ripping apart. I'm swimming with stars. I'm lifting the bar. I'm lifting the end of the stars. I'm like I shot up a trailer and mixed with some red. I'm starting to battle, but bitch, I'm not finishing. Think you can stop me? Not even a little bit. Nowadays, everybody's so sensitive. Picking my voice and you're picking apart. Tripping on nothing, just getting the car. Ripping and ripping and sticking the mark. I'm tipping the ch 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 Trying to get rid of me. Evil tendencies are fucking with me mentally. I got people that don't like me in the industry. I can feel your energy. You were not a friend of me. Cause I have been to places that you never wanna go. Yeah, I got dirt on people, but they act like I don't know. Yeah, I can do some damage, but I'll never rock the boat. All it takes is one post. Look at them all. Look at them all. They're all hiding in the dark with their cameras on ready to catch you up doing something that they don't approve of. Wow. Powerful shit right there. You know, I grew up in an era where we didn't have cameras and phones on us all the time, ready to narc on somebody, ready to catch film of somebody making a mistake. Uh, let's go. What's up, fella? John knows. You never get rid of me. Too many enemies ripping my image. You know my history in it. A mystery put every enemy out of the misery. Somebody send me some positive energy. I'm about to go dark. I'm about to go dizzy. Into the darkness. Into infinity. Shut you motherfuckers up. Listening? Stacking every little 
pretty penny that I'm getting and I'm never giving in to anybody. Always winning, never kidding when I die. Ooh. Everybody with me, you're never gonna get me because you never see a simple yeah, motherfucker. Awesome yeah. scene right there. And the monster living inside. Wow, that's deep. I just heard a video this morning as I'm having my coffee. I think it's Benny Johnson talking about the number of exorcisms has gone up in 2024. Now, did you even think exorcisms were really still going on past the movie in the 70s? Was it the 70s? I don't know, but that movie scared the shit out of me. Um, those are the scariest movies, those demonic movies. Nowadays, they don't freak me out as much. I feel like I got better control of my headspace. But who knows, man? Losing your mind is definitely sketchy. And I don't know if that's what's happening here. You know, maybe these are people, you know, oppressed through, uh, you know, schizophrenia or something like that, like hearing voices like that. I mean, I don't know. I've listened to a few specials on it, and it's scary. Um, but who's got it worse here? Which which side is worse here? A lot of people here, you know, hey, hey, nothing against the Catholics out there in this audience, but there's a lot of Christians, maybe you're not aware, they really think that that's the eye of the devil, the Catholic Church and the Vatican, I mean, have you not heard that? This isn't me coming out against you because I clearly don't know, but I'm just going to tell you if you haven't heard that, that's what they're saying. Lots of them. Um, I don't know what to believe. I think that I think that we have good and evil in all of us and we're supposed to be good. And, you know, the more I seem to turn on the lights, so to speak, the more I see the dark corners you know, of my own life, the person I am when no one else is looking. And, you know, for me, it's a real struggle. It is a struggle. Anyway, let's get back into the song. I'm going to move back on the timeline a little bit and start it. <laughs> the drones are mesmerized by their phones, their phone screens. Um, you know, we just had a little conversation about that with the warning um, uh, disciple video. Uh, I get into it a little bit there with, with some drony people they got mad when i called them drony they compared this uh left right just as evil just as dumb i think ronnie's making the same comparison here um i definitely see it you know they're barking out of one side of their mouth do this do that live this way and they're back in their cave doing the opposite um dude fully down with that. I see that. There's a Broadway that leads to destruction, and it might very well be those big swinging doors of the mega churches. You know, I heard a pastor recently, Jack Hibbs. He's in Chino Hills, California. Uh, that's my old stomping ground, kind of. And uh, he said, yo, a lot of people call this a mega church. He goes, in 2024, I'm trying to get people to leave this church. I'm not comfortable with this being called a mega church anymore. I want to preach a word that makes you leave. Because if I'm preaching a word that's attracting the masses, I'm feeling uncomfortable with that. And I think this is the time when we really get down to the nitty gritty, don't we? Don't we? The things we see in the world today, how much longer can we really go? Uh, I don't know. But as far as evil being the same on the far left and the far right, do you really see that? I mean, I see just as big, you know, MAGA, Trumper, conservative, gullible boomers. I see what you guys see. But then when I look at the other side, I see worse. You know, if you're cutting your, uh, you know, what's off and, uh, you know, you're promoting some of the things you promote over on that side. Um, we've lost our way, but it's really bad over there. You know, the riots, the crime, 
the droniness. Come on. I don't know who I'm offending in this video, but let's just get it. The caveman paradigm is a paradigm of like saying what you think, saying what you really believe, you know, like, like Ronnie. I'm not going to be fake. And I would be if I didn't say this. And maybe I just need to react to the song. So let's just get back in. One day you're going to figure out that everything they taught you was a lie. Man, that's deep, bro. That's deep. And, and I've come to, I've asked myself that question, like even about the Bible. Don't, if, if you've just found a church and you're just getting into reading the Bible, please don't take anything that I say seriously, okay? Um, but I have considered through my walk, if possibly the Illuminati. <laughs> they, those they's in the world. Did they tell us the Bible story in reverse? Right? It, it definitely seems to me that the T word could be seen as, as the Antichrist in reverse. Like, I don't think that. I think that Elon Musk, he could be portrayed as the false prophet. Trump as the Antichrist. I could see them doing that in reverse. Ooh, that's real tricky. And we know there's going to be some deception in the end if, if you follow Bible prophecy. That's going to be so massive that it can fool even the very elect. Did I read that right? Some of my, uh, my uh, scripture knowledge is, is very rusty. Um, but uh, it's something I thought about. Because don't we feel like in the world, they're really playing both sides. Have you even heard some people saying now that they think the establishment has uh, signed, you know, the art of the deal with the President T to go ahead and let him come back in since it seems like there's no other way to doubt. You know, I'm just prophesying the future right here. I always said in other videos that there was a Bible scripture that talked about at the last Trump and people thought that it meant the Trump, like the trumpet or the shofar that over in Israel, they'll blow the shofar at the last Trump. Um, I, I thought it'd be ironic if it was talking about Trump as in President Trump or some, the other Trump, Baron Trump could be the last Trump. Some people have thought that. I don't know. I feel like things are moving really fast. I think the Bible also talked about these days being shortened because time would move so fast. I don't know. My timeline's off. I'm going to tell you already. You guys are going to disagree with a lot on my timeline or the way I recite a scripture because I'm just doing it out of here and it's probably 20 years old. So uh, fill me in down below if you think there's any potential possibility to any of this, but I've considered everything because I'm not going to trust the preacher in there holding the Bible, telling me how to live my life. I'm not going to trust that guy. That's just a, that's just another guy like me. No way. Um, there's no mediator except Jesus, right? Um, some have even said that was questionable. Um, I'm going with it. I'm going with it. I'm choosing to go with it. I'm choosing to go with the pre-trib rapture because I like the choice better. <laughs> if I'm going to have faith about something, it's going to be a more positive ending. So anyway, let's go. Let's get back into this. You know, that to see that imagery right there is shocking. And we think, man, Ronnie's making himself out to be the devil. 
and he's destroying the church. But Jesus did that to the the tax collectors and the, those selling the trinkets out in front of the church, right? He tipped over the tables and blah, blah, blah you know, or, or uh, destroying Sodom and Gomorrah. Like, we're seeing red eyes. I mean, we've been programmed from the beginning to see it the way they see it. And so once that program is installed, it becomes really hard to get your mind back and think about the other possibilities. So all I'm doing is, is, uh, is telling you that, can you not see it? I mean, I mean, I, I don't know. There's something about Ronnie. I trust. There's something about him. I trust. And, and I don't think it's, uh, I mean, he's portraying darkness to the fullest in this video. But when I look at the, that, that I think it was a Catholic preacher there. I see the same thing. I see the same darkness almost. Wow. That's some, uh, I like music like this that makes you think, you know, they don't give you too much, but they give you just enough, you know, just enough. And we find out how do you download it? And what do you think about it? There's going to be a majority of people, probably 90% that aren't going to see things the way I see them, you know? There's going to be a lot of people that get pissed that I pause the video and talk about the things I talk about. But that's what reaction videos are about. It's about getting somebody else's download of the same song and seeing what it made them think about. So on this channel, you're going to get a real reaction. I'm not going to go like, ooh, I like what they did there with the, with the, with the CGI fire. Whoa, that was cool. Or... Uh, Dang, look at that outfit. That outfit was was pimp, you know. It's it's it, it's man, they spared no expense to make this video. I got a little more to say than that, and I'm going to say it. So, if you don't like it, I apologize. Hopefully, you didn't have to waste too much time. And if you did like it, could you hit the like button down below? Could you leave me a comment? 2, 3, or 4 comments would be great. And all right, fam, peace out. Keep showing me the love. I'm going to start making more videos. So I appreciate it. Thank you. Bye.